Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willowbound Journals. Welcome back to my channel. So I went to the op shop today and they had a free box with books and magazines. So I just rummaged through those box, those boxes, there was two of them actually. And I found a whole bunch of these gardening flower magazines and I picked up four of them so I could go through them and cut out any images that were beautiful and that spoke to me either to include in my personal journaling. Um, I was thinking of this idea to uh, maybe make a journal one day where it's a flower journal of all the flowers that are from my childhood and that remind me of my family and different occasions from my life, letting the flowers um, prompt memories. It's sort of like a memoir through flowers. Uh, but I also want to cut out a whole bunch to make some floral journal cards because I love um, yeah, botanical journals. My favorite theme, aside from vintage French, is botanical. So just give you a look at the magazines I picked up. And yeah, I'm not really sure what I'll find in here, but we'll hopefully cut out a whole bunch of lovely pictures. And basically when I make my journal cards, all I'm doing very simple is backing them onto um, I'm backing them onto coffee dye paper. You could back it onto any color paper really, um, but it's just give that extra weight to the journal card and also you can write on the back of it. So I love slipping those into pockets and paper clipping them onto pages. So let's have a look here. I mean, I could even cut this one out and use that frame. Frames are always fun and stick my own picture in the middle of that. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'll just come and sit with you while I look at these images and see what we find and just a relaxing session. <laughs> cutting out images. I love wild flowers at the moment. Last year was when I really got into wild flowers. So I love just, I don't know, sticking these on my journal pages, images of flowers. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So some of these flowers, yeah, I'll keep for me, for my journaling. Others I will turn into those beautiful journaling cards. And I just find this quite relaxing, therapeutic, just to not have to think too hard and just sit down with a pair of scissors and find beautiful things and cut out beautiful pictures. Lovely. Just makes my heart happy seeing beautiful flowers with their colors. Hmm. <laughs> and maybe you want to grab a magazine or two or three <laughs> or more and join me in cutting out pictures. It's quite nice. I like having different sizes too. And some of them you can turn into pockets. But even after I cut the flower images out, I'm cutting out the coffee dye paper to back them onto. That's also very enjoyable. And nice to have a nice stash ready to use. I, I like doing everything in bulk <laughs> so that they are ready to go. Some cards will be smaller for smaller pockets. 
others larger for bigger pockets. pretty. I mean I could go to those yellow ones too. Oh my goodness I could be here forever. <laughs> when I just did a quick flip through in the op shop I was like oh yeah I might find a few images. Now that I'm going through this magazine <laughs> I'm gonna be here forever cutting things out. So when that happens when there's a lot of things I'll just spend however long I feel like and then I'll put the magazines aside and turn to them another day when I feel like cutting things out again. Now, of course, the blue and the purple flowers are really speaking to me. I did see a few blue flowers and scenes when I was flicking through these magazines in the op shop and immediately I thought of yeah, sticking those in one of my personal journals uh, for the anchor journal course especially that's a course where I place anything that really speaks to me that resonates with me that calls to my heart calls to my soul because it anchors me those things whatever they're calling to me they sort of center me and ground me and so I was looking at these these types of colors, this color anchors me. Sometimes it's tricky getting it uh, straight. Look at these beautiful, these are quite large I could use that as a whole page for a journal spread if I wanted. Ooh. Okay, I'm loving these ones. Beautiful. I do like the larger images. Because there's more beauty to take in. <laughs> so what is your favorite flower? I've got a few different flowers that I love. Wisteria is one of them. One reason because it's blue, of course. But also I love that, I really like, my favorite flowers tend to be the ones that hang. Um, yeah, there's just something about those hanging ones, like the bell type of um, beautiful, I don't know what the right word is, like, where they drape or, you know, the ones that grow over arches <laughs> and they hang. There's just something about that. It's so delicate, so beautiful, a bit whimsical, a bit magical. So yeah, love wisteria for that reason. I also love jasmine. Um, jasmine is just one of those ones that if I didn't grow up with it as a kid, I might not like it. But because I had grown up with it as a kid in various places in our garden, in the yard, including on two arches, um, and I would walk through one of those arches on my way home from school. And, oh, okay, I really like these garden scenes. This reminds me of Daphne's diary, actually. I might just even cut that whole piece out. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Foxgloves, that's such a beautiful flower, the foxglove. I just feel like it's so extravagant. Like, look at me, look how amazing I am as a flower. 
beautiful yeah so floral scenes i just love the floral scenes as well so i can always come back to this if i want and if i want to journal about gardens or flowers even these chairs like yeah, there's something about those chairs that's calling to me how could that work in a journal page spread well they sort of remind me of princess chairs and royalty because of the intricate design and the the gold color of them so i could kind of maybe journal about peace finding peace in who you are and in beauty in nature in the world something like that so i don't really know what i would use it for but i've got a vague idea and that's enough for me to put all that aside and i can see myself using that in a journal page spread for something like the anchor journal course just taking time to sit down and reflect that kind of thing i mean there's so many images in this magazine i could use my goodness you guys so many so so many all right i'm gonna be making journal cards galore this is fantastic um i'll leave some in the magazine i can always come back to them roses roses are definitely a standout flower they definitely are stunning I love that there's so many different colors of roses too yay I think I loved I went through phases when I was a kid I really liked yellow roses that's beautiful that's beautiful that could be a pocket oh I even like that <laughs> Um, and then I kind of went to white, something about white roses that I adore. And I always say, like, I'd rather a single rose, like if I was going to be given flowers, I'd rather be given a single rose than a bunch of roses. There's something just about that beauty in that simplicity of a single rose. I know this yeah love it anyway <laughs> uh, oh guys this is beautiful this is so beautiful i don't know which one to use oh sorry about that i really like this i love window shutters like that i know it kind of reminds me of fairy tales i guess and princesses so maybe my dream house Will look like that and be like a cottage type <laughs> a mix between a vintage french or french chateau and a garden cottage <laughs> something cozy and rustic and beautiful and peaceful and calm i don't know <laughs> i've got no idea <laughs> but i just know i like those shutters see that could be a pocket hmm these colors oh it's beautiful too the purple oh i think that page could just stand alone in fact i've started a new journal for my collage journal where i put just anything pretty um i don't know which one i like better i honestly like both i mean that could be a background page too something like the anchor journal course where I just want to use an altered book and need to cover the pages and then do my own journaling on top of it that could be a backdrop for something like that oh my gosh this is so lovely you guys oh I love that oh my gosh <laughs> oh okay this is wonderful <laughs> Yes, I love bridges. Bridges with a lake and a garden of flowers and willow trees. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Like even this. Something about that. I'll leave that one though. Ew. I'm not a fan of frogs. 
Um, oh, wow, look at that. Oh, my gosh. You guys, look at this. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that stunning? Oh, I wish there was no yellow in there. That yellow needs to disappear. Yellow is my least favorite color, but... Oh, my goodness. Okay, yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> I always really like flowers like this too. So when I was a kid, my mum would take me to the nursery. We'd often go and she would give me garden tours of the garden and teach me flower names. And we would plant flowers together and we would weed together. And she got me my own weeder and my own gardening gloves. And she, yeah, so when we went to the nursery, she would get me to choose whatever flowers I wanted. And it was always annuals, so I could choose any annuals that I wanted. And I would look through an annual book and choose from there. That's how I would choose the flowers that I wanted to plant. And I remember really liking larkspur and snapdragons because they were really tall and had that sort of, yeah, I don't know, that, that shape of flower. <laughs> Something about that type of flower I really like too. Wow, well, so I'm really actually amazed at how many images I'm able to cut out. This is fantastic, you guys. And make some beautiful journal cards with all of these. So do you like cutting up floral magazines as well? Or what magazines do you like to cut up if you do? My goodness, this is amazing. I'm gonna be set for quite a while with flowers <laughs> but this is great because I did run out quite a while ago I haven't done this for a very long time but now is the time I mean they were free the magazines were free so may as well get into making some more gorgeous 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 So do you have a favorite flower? Or a story about a flower that speaks to you? Beautiful. White flowers are lovely too. They're not really pretty to my eye though. They're not jumping out at me. That's quite nice. Hibiscus, stunning flower. Absolutely stunning, isn't it? <gasps> oh, wisteria. I might have to include that in my own journal. Oh my gosh, it even has the arch showing. Oh my goodness, isn't it just beautiful? Now I'm really hoping to find a field of wildflowers as one of the images that I can use in my journal. Um, but yeah, beauty is one of my core values. So I always um, document beauty in my journals and just pull out anything that's beautiful to me and just put it on the page. So hmm, I, what was I saying? So I'm totally okay with just cutting out picture after picture of flowers that I find beautiful and then sticking them on page after page in my journals because that makes me happy just the colors you know how you get like a new packet of pencils and you just see the beautiful colors well flowers are kind of like that i guess we see all the different colors of vibrant flowers and it's like as beautiful as getting that 
or seeing that beautiful pack of colored pencils or paints or textures or whatever it is it's that times more when you see all the different beautiful colors of flowers wow i didn't realize i'd get so many images from just one magazine oh my goodness this is so fun <gasps> I love this so much. Oh my goodness. Yay. Look at this. Ah, even just that. Just put that straight on a page and that would make me happy. <laughs> All right. Well, this ended up being quite a bit longer than I was expecting going even just through one magazine. I was thinking maybe I'd get through all four in one video, but um, I think I'll end this video here and we'll do maybe a part two, a part three and a part four. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope you're doing really well and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. A big thank you to my beautiful patrons who supported me in November. I hope you absolutely loved all of the extras this month. And if you would like to support me in December and get access to extra videos and printables, behind the scenes updates and first access to any of my creations, the link is down below in the description box. The links are also down there to all of my journaling courses. The Reflections journaling course is running all through December if you would like to document your year for 2022. And if you would like to support my book fundraiser, the link is there to my GoFundMe page as well.